Hello guys, um, thank you everyone so much for tuning in. And before I get started with the video, I just want to say if everyone watching this right now could please hit the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, and I want to thank everyone that has subscribed already. I appreciate you guys so much. So, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the season finale of Underground that came on last night. I'm going to be giving you a recap and my opinion of the episode, and the episode was absolutely crazy. So I'm just so excited to get to talk about it. So let's just get right into it. So the episode starts off with we see Ernestine back at the big house and she's narrating the whole beginning. And she's basically just um, speaking very metaphorically and just you can tell that she's just really depressed about what happened to Sam. If you don't remember and I don't know if it was the last episode or the episode before that but Sam was lynched. And it was just really crazy like she's just really depressed about that. And, like, I'm just still surprised that that happened. Like, like I was just so surprised. Like, why do they keep killing everyone off? Like, if they kill one more person off, I'm going to be, I'm just going to go crazy. And then the scene switches to, um, at John and Elizabeth's house. And we see Rosalie and Noah sitting at the table. They're all cleaned up, fresh clothes. They look like they showered and everything. And they're just sitting and they're talking with John and Elizabeth about what they're going to do next. Because... John came back and he said that word that the Macon Seven have made it across the river. So they're just figuring out what they're going to do next to try to, um, so that they can further on what, where they're trying to go. Uh, so that they can get to their next location. And then they start making their plan and right when they start making their plan it switches back to the big house and we see Ernestine talking to Master and they're talking about Sam and she's just still really depressed and she's saying that it's her fault and God is punishing her for what she did to Pearly May. If you don't remember a few episodes back she actually killed Pearly May and Master is saying like it's not your fault. Um, you had to do it to protect Rosalie. He's saying, like, I just want to take you away from here. Like, we're going to run away to Washington and we'll be free. We're going to go shopping and everything. He's saying all of this to her, like, that's going to make her feel better about losing her son. It's just really crazy. Okay, and then we go back to Elizabeth's and John house. And Elizabeth and Noah are sitting at the table. And Noah's just telling her, like, um, how he, brave she, he thinks she is. Because he was saying that if he was in her position that... He don't think he doesn't think that he would be able to do what she does. He said, but he looks, he sees the way that she looks at Boo, and he understands how passionate she is about it. And she says that if only they can get Boo to safety, to freedom, then everything will be worth it. And then we flash to John and Rosalie outside, and John tells Rosalie what happened to Sam, and then she just breaks down crying. And she's just really sad. I don't think that he should have told her. I mean, not right then and there. Because, like, she was already stressed. They were already stressed out about how they were going to get to the next spot. And then he just laid that on her on top of everything else that she has going on. Told her that her brother is dead. And then the scene flashes to Rosalie. She's sitting in a bathtub. And she's thinking about her brother. And all these tears are just falling down her face and she's just so sad and then Noah comes in and he says I'm just bringing you this towel and then she says wait don't go and then Noah comes in and he consoles her and then the moment happens they kiss and then it gets all steamy and and like that's the moment that like everybody's been waiting for that's been building up to and then when the commercial is over we see Rosalie and Noah again and they're all talking about freedom everything and then like Rosalie's just saying that she wishes that she was back she she doesn't know if any of this was worth it then Noah's saying that they've like been through too much and that they deserve this they have to get what they deserve they deserve to be free and she's saying that none of them will ever really be free until all of them are free okay and then we flash back to I believe his name is August or Augustus, I'm going to say August. And then we flash back to August. And then if you remember from the last episode, Rosalie stabbed his son. And surprisingly, he made it. Which, I mean, I thought that he was dead after that. But he's still alive. And then he says that his son will never be able to walk again. So he wants to kill Rosalie. And all of the other hunters are like, whoa, wait a minute. You can't kill her. We have to return her alive. Master put the most money on her life. He wants her back alive. And... 
then Augustus, he decides to kill all of them because he wants to kill Rosalie for what he did, what, what she did to his son. Okay, and then this is where their little plan comes into action. We fast forward to a scene of um, Elizabeth and Noah at a jail, and Noah's holding up a gun to Elizabeth's head, and he says to her, and he says, if you guys, what does he say exactly? I wrote it down. He says, drop all of your weapons or I'll drop this white woman. And then at that point, we all realize that that's like a part of their plan. They're making um, some type of di diversion. So he tells them to drop all their weapons. And then they all drop their weapons. And he tells them like to let all... There are a bunch of black people locked in the jail cells. He tells them to let all of them free and trade places with them. So he locks up all the white people, including Elizabeth. And then he sets all the black people free. And he um, gives them all guns. And then the scene flashes to Rosalie, Boo, and Elizabeth. They're all on a wagon and they're running from August. He's chasing them on a horse with a gun and they're just like trying to get away from him. And then Rosalie says, I'm just going to run on foot because I don't want anyone else to die because of me. That's the one. He, I'm the one that he wants, so I'm just going to run off by myself. And then she gets off the wagon and then he gets off his wagon and then they're chasing her on foot. And then she's running and running and running and then she just stops and then... Like, I was just looking at the TV, like, what is she stopping? Is there a river? Like, what's going on? And then she just stopped in the middle of nowhere. And then she turns to him and she says, I'm not running anymore. This is your fault that it happened to your son. You should have never had him there in the first place. And then he just gets really upset and he pulls out his gun and holds it up to her. But before he shoots her, Elizabeth shows up and she has a gun to him. So Augustus, August, I'm sorry, August takes his knife and he throws it at her and cuts her hand and she drops the gun. But August also dropped his gun. So Rosalie picks up the gun in time and then she shoots him right in the stomach. And we don't know if he's dead or not. He's laying there. She said that she's not going to, she's just going to leave him there to die. And then Elizabeth and Boo and Rosalie, they get back on their wagon and they run off to where they're going. And then we see that Noah still has not made it back to the big house yet. So they have to leave without him. And Noah ends up getting caught because he tries to help one of the black people that were um, released from the prison. He sees them about to get caught and he tries to help them. And he ends up getting hit over the back of the head by a white woman. And then he wakes up and he's like tied to a tree. And then she says like, you went to the jail. There's no way that a slave could know where this jail is. So tell me the name of the white person that's helping you and I'll let you all free. And then he sits there and he hesitates for a minute and he gives her a name. And the name that he gives her, what's that guy's name? And the name that he gives them is Kyle. And Kyle is the one that was locked up um, in their basement. They locked him up um, in the previous episode, Elizabeth and John, I mean Susan. I hope I haven't been calling her Elizabeth this whole time. <laughs> okay, Susan and John. They tie him. They tied him up and they put him in the basement once he found out that they were um, harboring slaves. And when Rosalie was down there with him, he was trying to make noise so that um, they would both get caught, that they would know that they were down there. But Rosalie slapped them and then she shut them up and then she ran away with um, Elizabeth and Boo. I'm mean, with Susan and Boo. <laughs> okay, and then. Again. So Noah gives him his name and then it turns out that that was all a part of their plan all along and then um, John is in the basement with him and then he kills him. He tells them that they've been setting him up since the very beginning, putting abolitionist papers in his drawer and they have every right to kill a slave stealer as they call it. And so they set him up which is so good and then John puts his hand over his mouth and he smothers him and he dies. So happy that was the best part. No that wasn't the best part. We're getting to the best part. You guys just wait. Okay, so Tom offers again to take um, Ernestine to Washington. He's just feeling really guilty about what happens to Sam. And he's just trying to tell her anything to make it better. And it, the way that she's looking, like you can just tell that she has something up her sleeve. And then so she gives him a drink and then he sits down and he takes the drink. And then a black man, the one that's the artist that's always quiet in the house, he comes up behind him and he ties... A rope around him that's hanging from the ceiling and he hangs him so he dies the same way that Sam dies and that's like the best part of the whole episode and then we see August again it turns out that he's still alive and he's gets locked up in jail 
because he killed all of those hunters and they said like that's just completely unforgivable you killed white people we're gonna lock you up and throw away the key so he's locked up in jail and then Noah we also see Noah's locked up in jail which is such a sad part so Elizabeth um so Susan Boo and um Rosalie have to go on without him that's so sad that like he worked so hard to get them all free and then he ends up being the one left behind locked up in jail but they had to go because they had to get Boo to freedom because that was like the most important thing Okay, and then after that, another exciting part is we see Kato. He's still alive. In the last episode, we thought that he got shot, but Kato is still alive. He's still fighting, still trying to run it and get to freedom. And then we see Rosalie and Boo. They're in the north. They look beautiful, all clean, hair all done. They're all dressed up. And then Boo is just running around, playing with the flowers, and um, Rosalie is sitting with an abolitionist, and he's talking to her about her life back on the um, plantation and she's talking about everyone, all of the making seven and then she talks about Noah and how it's so sad that he was left behind and she says that she'll never be free until everyone else is free because she's always just going to be thinking back about everyone else so she decides that she's going back. And then we, fa then we fast forward to a scene of Ernestine and Tom's wife in a wagon and she's telling him about, and she's telling her about everything that she's been doing that she hasn't liked. And she said that the number one thing is that um, Ernestine has been raising her children and her children like Ernestine better than her. So she says, I'm going to sell you. I'm going to put you on the block. I'm going to sell you and I'm going to raise your son. Don't worry about him. I'll be a better mom than you could and I'll give him everything that you couldn't. So, Rosal so Ernestine's getting sold. And then it ends, we see um, Rosalie in a wagon, and then someone pulls the top off of the wagon, and then um, she helps um, Rosalie out, and she has a gun on her, and then she says, um, I hear that you're um, want, ready to um, help steal some slaves, and then she said, you can't steal something that's already supposed to be free, and then she was like, my name's Harriet. So we all know that that's Harriet Tubman, so Harriet Tubman is obviously going to be a big part of season Two, and I can't wait for season two. It's going to be out in 2007. Yeah, and that's pretty much all for my recap. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and leave me a comment down below telling me your favorite part of the season finale. Yeah, bye.